again, welcome to this short overview video of Launcher by DisplayNote. Launcher is a solution that's been designed to make your meetings more effective by making it really easy to access the tools you need for that meeting and also by allowing you or anyone to turn a shared meeting room display into a more personal device. But first, let's take a look at how Launcher simplifies the process of launching applications and starting calls. In our room applications area are applications that anyone can open and use. And you can have as, add as few or as many Windows applications, UWP applications, or URLs to this area. And to open them, for example, it could be a Microsoft whiteboard. Simply tap on the icon, that opens up the whiteboard, and one touch takes us back to the home screen. It's worth noting that Launcher comes with two display note applications for free. Uh, it comes with Montage, our wireless presentation solution, and it also comes with Broadcast, our new one-to-many screen sharing application. Launcher also removes the complexity of starting and joining video calls. So on the right hand side, we've got our calendar and we can see events in our calendar. And that could be a mixture of either private meetings or public meetings. With integrations for Microsoft Exchange, Zoom, Teams, GoToMeeting, Skype for Business and BlueJeans, all you need to do is schedule a call as always in Outlook and use Launcher to join that meeting, start that meeting with one tap. So here in today's session, I've got private meeting at nine, and then I've got a Teams meeting, there's a Zoom meeting, GoTo meeting, and if I tap on the Zoom meeting, and you can see we're right into that call, just waiting for the organizer to start it. And my launcher has been designed for meeting organizers and meeting attendees. Control and management very much lies with the IT administrator or the person setting up the display or the room. Only those with a four digit pin can access the settings. And it's only through settings that you can change the names, you can edit locations, you can toggle on and off kiosk mode, access the window settings, only in settings can you remove shortcuts or add shortcuts. For example, if you want to add new applications here or remove applications, for example, I'll take away OneNote and remove that shortcut and that removes it. It means that anyone using Launcher cannot access that application. Only in settings can you accept updates to the software, access license information and change the pin. You can also integrate with your calendars and pair it with your Skype for Business account. And clicking out of that area takes it back to a room state for anyone to use. At the end of any meeting or during any meeting, anyone is free to clear the device. And pressing the Clear Now button will close any applications that I've been using, clear the cache, and clear any browsing history. The second thing that Launcher does to make meetings more effective is to allow anyone to turn a shared meeting room display into a more personal device. And they can do that in a number of ways. We can either manually sign in on the display, or we can use an application on our smart device to allow us to do that. So we've got using either an application for iOS or Android, and signing into that application with my 365 account, I can find nearby displays. So here I can see Huddle Room 1, and once I connect to that, which uses low energy Bluetooth, you can see that the launcher home screen start to change its behavior around me, the user. So I can get access to my OneDrive, uh, to my Skype for Business, and to my personal calendar without having to sign in on the display. I can also see all of those meetings in the application and if I launch it on the, in the application, that will start the call on the display. So here I've got a Teams call launched. And you can see it's starting to, to launch. And as always, home button takes me back to the launcher home screen. 